Good morning, folks. Let's look at some limb features. Beautiful plasma snap on the southwestern departing quadrant. The coronal cavity identified yesterday, stepping up and expressing herself spectacularly. The dance of charged particles trapped in umbral magnetic fields above the incoming sunspot groups on the northeast. But if you're looking for an Earth-directed eruption, you won't find it, just a very calm Earth-facing side of the Sun, with a sizable coronal hold down south that has already set a speedy stream of solar wind our way. We will be awaiting its impact over the next two or three days. Let's jump over to spaceweathernews.com. We're seeing the X-ray solar flaring has stopped its uptick and plateaued right in C range. The sunspots are to blame as their number belies a lack of complexity thus far. Spread magnetics in the northern lead, then the bulb behind it that was mixing has spread and lost delta potential. The solar flaring will remain low until positive and negative start dancing once again. Got some nice potential down here as well. Solar wind showing a rise in plasma density and speed. That's orange and yellow respectively. It's not a major one, so we'll just notice a slight jostle and dive to the sensitive magnetometer and electron flux with a slight nudge up in the KP at the bottom row. Definitely nothing serious. At this time, the increased solar wind pressure is having minor effects on the satellite environment. It's not a big deal to see some yellow or even a touch of red during magnetic storms. You just don't want to see a lot of it. The hazard quotient is minimal right now and related to surface charging only. Some quick notes. Folks who wish to know the response to NOAA's latest strike at the global warming pause. It is actually taking a while to put together all the experts' harsh words for this study. It is basically a desperate headline ploy. Remember that issue with headlines. And while I put this all together, please check out Top 6 Climate Change Problems and the May 30th Special Ice Report if you haven't seen them yet. They're linked for you right below this video. So apparently there's some sort of storm approaching Baja. It'll make landfall this weekend, but is already shearing moisture off and feeding up into the convergence line, bringing heat energy up through the area already. My jovial language aside, locals really have to pay attention here. Tornado, hail, lightning, and flood potential exists. In Europe, that same low up north is still the top alert popping storms along its convergence line cutting to the southwest towards a second low that will dump on northwest Africa as well as Spain and Portugal. Down under, it's all about a massive low node. Remember how the moisture can ride the outer edge where low meets high, and that's precisely what we see here. I doubt we'll have major alerts from the system, but share them if you get them. Today we'll see the upper level conditions, a rapid scan and shots of our star to close. Today is Saturday, so don't miss fly on the wall coming in a few hours. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.